ever pondered why belief plays such a pivotal role in the teachings of Jesus? Today we embark on an exploration of this profound theme that echoes throughout the New Testament. Belief in its many forms is a cornerstone in the teachings of Jesus. It's the seed from which faith sprouts and grows, the flame that lights the path of righteousness, the quiet voice in our hearts urging us to seek and embrace truth. In the course of this discourse, we will delve into some of the most poignant teachings of Jesus, where belief takes center stage. From the Sermon on the Mount to his final teachings, miracles to parables, we'll witness how belief is not just a concept, but a transformative power. A power that transcends the physical world, shapes destinies and unlocks the boundless potential of the human spirit. Join us on this enlightening journey as we delve into the teachings of Jesus on belief. Jesus' teachings on belief start from the very beginning with the Sermon on the Mount. This sermon, a cornerstone of the Christian faith, was where Jesus first laid out his teachings on belief. Picture this, Jesus standing on a hillside, addressing his disciples and a crowd of eager listeners. His words, even two millennia later, continue to resonate, brimming with wisdom and spiritual guidance. His sermon offers a blueprint for a life lived in faith, a life shaped by belief. The sermon is known for the Beatitudes, a series of blessings that are a call to spiritual transformation. The Beatitudes challenge us to rethink our understanding of happiness, success and righteousness. They encourage us to find solace not in material wealth but in spiritual riches. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. With these words, Jesus extols the virtue of humility and the importance of acknowledging our spiritual needs. It's a call to believe in the divine promise of eternal life, a promise accessible to all who are humble in spirit. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. This beatitude reminds us that belief is our refuge in times of sorrow, our comforter in the face of loss. It's a testament to the transformative power of belief and faith. The Sermon on the Mount is a testament to the power of belief, a belief that transcends the physical world and touches the spiritual realm. It's a call to shift our gaze from the earthly to the heavenly, from the transient to the eternal. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus emphasizes that belief isn't just about accepting a set of doctrines. It's about embodying a way of life, a way of being in the world that reflects the love and grace of God. It's about living a life of compassion, mercy and peace, a life that mirrors the kingdom of heaven here on earth. The Sermon on the Mount sets the tone for Jesus' teachings on belief, emphasizing its central role in the Christian faith. It serves as a reminder that belief is more than a concept. It's a lived experience, a journey of transformation guided by the teachings of Jesus. Jesus didn't just talk about belief, he demonstrated its power through miracles. Now, let's delve into some of the miracles performed by Jesus, where belief played a significant role. Each of these miracles was a testament to the transformative power of faith, showing us that belief isn't just a concept, but a force capable of bringing about tangible change. Consider the miracle of the loaves and fishes. Here, with only five barley loaves and two small fish, Jesus fed a crowd of 5,000. He didn't do this by simply waving a hand, but rather he asked for faith. He asked those around him to believe in the possibility of abundance, even in the face of scarcity. And when they believed, they all ate and were satisfied. Then there's the healing of the blind man. Jesus didn't just restore his sight. He asked the blind man to believe that he could see. The blind man's belief in the possibility of sight was a crucial factor in his healing. It wasn't just about physical healing, but also about the rekindling of hope and faith. And who can forget the resurrection of Lazarus? Here, belief was not just required from Lazarus, but from those around him as well. Jesus asked them to roll away the stone, to believe in life even in the face of death. And when they did, Lazarus was brought back from the dead, a testament to the power of belief. These miracles were not just acts of divine intervention, they were lessons in belief. Jesus wanted to show us that belief isn't passive. It's an active, transformative force. It's about trusting in the unseen, embracing the possible, and stepping into the realm of the miraculous. And so Jesus didn't just talk about belief, he showed us its power. 
He demonstrated that belief can feed the hungry, heal the sick, and even conquer death. Through these miracles, Jesus illustrated the transformative power of belief. Parables were a key teaching method for Jesus. They often centered around the theme of belief. Let's delve into a couple of Jesus' parables that underscore the importance of belief. First, we have the parable of the mustard seed. Here, Jesus talks about faith as tiny as a mustard seed. This seed is one of the smallest in the world, yet when planted, it grows into a large tree. Through this parable, Jesus is teaching us that even the smallest amount of genuine belief can grow into something significant, something life-changing. It's not about the size of our faith, but the quality of it. Even a small, sincere belief can lead to great things. Now, let's move on to the parable of the sower. In this story, a sower scatters seeds on different types of ground. The path, rocky ground, thorny ground, and good soil. The seeds represent the Word of God, and the different grounds symbolize the different responses to God's Word. The seeds that fall on the path are quickly snatched away, representing those who hear the Word but don't understand it. The seeds that fall on rocky and thorny ground sprout quickly but wither under the sun or get choked by thorns, symbolizing those who initially receive the Word with joy but soon fall away due to trials or worldly distractions. However, the seeds that fall on good soil grow and produce a rich harvest, representing those who hear the word, understand it, and bear fruit. This parable teaches us about the power of belief. It's not enough to simply hear the word of God. We must understand it, accept it in our hearts, and let it grow within us. We must believe. These parables, among many others, are not just stories. They are profound teachings about the power and importance of belief. They teach us that belief is not passive, but active. It's not just about accepting something as true, but letting that truth take root in our hearts and transform our lives. Through his parables, Jesus further emphasized the significance of belief. Even in his final teachings, belief remained a central theme for Jesus. As the clock ticked closer to his crucifixion, Jesus, the embodiment of love and compassion, continued to emphasize the significance of belief. He knew that his time on earth was nearing its end, yet his teachings remained unflinching, his message unwavering. It was in these final moments that Jesus gathered his disciples for the Last Supper. He shared bread and wine with them, these humble items symbolizing his body and blood. More than a poignant farewell, this was a moment of teaching. He urged his disciples, his closest companions, to remember him every time they partook of these elements. This was not a call to remember his physical presence, but his teachings, his sacrifices, and above all, his message of belief and faith. Jesus knew that his disciples would face challenges and tribulations after his departure. He knew that their faith would be tested, that they would be tempted to falter. So he urged them to hold fast to their beliefs. He reassured them, saying, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. His words were a beacon of hope, a promise that faith and belief could conquer even the most formidable obstacles. In these final teachings, Jesus emphasized that belief was not merely about acknowledging his existence. It was about accepting his teachings, imbibing his values, and living a life of love and compassion. He stressed that belief was about trusting in God's divine plan, even when the path seemed treacherous and the future uncertain. In the Garden of Gethsemane, even as he faced his own fears and anxieties, Jesus demonstrated the power of belief. He prayed fervently, surrendering his will to God and displaying an unwavering faith, a profound belief in the divine plan. His prayer wasn't just words spoken in solitude, it was a testament to his unshakable belief and an example for all of us. Even at the end, Jesus underscored the importance of belief. His final teachings serve as a gentle reminder of the power and significance of belief, a beacon guiding us through the storms of life, illuminating our path with its unwavering light. From the Sermon on the Mount to his final teachings, belief is a constant theme in Jesus' teachings. We've journeyed together through these teachings, witnessing the power of belief in action. We've seen it in the miracles Jesus performed, in the parables he told, and in his final words to his disciples. 
Belief, as taught by Jesus, is not a mere passive agreement, but an active trust in God's love, goodness, and providence. It's about a relationship with God that transforms us from the inside out. This belief is pivotal in Jesus' teachings and indeed in the Christian faith as a whole. Let's remember the woman who touched Jesus' cloak and was healed, the centurion whose servant was healed, the parable of the mustard seed. These stories remind us that belief is potent, transformative, and central to our journey of faith. As we journey through our own lives, may we remember the power of belief as taught by Jesus.